SpaceX's Starship IFT-5 flight will be ready for launch this Sunday. And why so fast? What specific upgrades have been made to the Starship for this flight? Well, SpaceX has announced a potential launch date of October 13th for Starship's fifth test flight pending regulatory approval. Now, this is earlier than the previously anticipated November launch window, and the delay up to now has primarily been due to licensing issues with the Federal Aviation Administration, or the FAA, which required additional time for approvals. Initially, SpaceX had been aiming for a November launch date, largely because of regulatory hurdles, and these issues stemmed from what SpaceX claims are superfluous environmental analyses mandated by the FAA. Now, despite these regulatory delays, SpaceX has continued its preparations to meet the new launch window. Now, the primary goal of IFT-5 is not just to reach orbit, but to test new systems and maneuvers. And among these are the first ever attempt to return the Super Heavy booster to the launch site for a mid-air catch using the launch tower's chopstick arms. Now, this maneuver, if successful, would mark a significant, huge milestone in developing the reusable Starship spaceflight technology. Now, another objective of this test flight involves the re-entry and splashdown of Starship second stage. SpaceX's plans for the Starship to execute a re-entry burn and then splash down in the Indian Ocean. Improvements have been made to its thermal protection systems to increase the likelihood of a successful return. And SpaceX technicians have reworked uh, Starship's heat shield extensively in preparation for this flight. The team spent over 12,000 hours replacing the entire thermal protection system, installing newer generation heat tiles, a backup uh, ablative layer, and additional protections between the vehicle's flap structures. Now, these upgrades are intended to address issues observed during previous flight tests. And alongside the heat shield updates, SpaceX has made enhancements to the spacecraft's software and operational systems to refine its landing capabilities. These updates aim to better manage the reentry process and assure a softer splashdown, minimizing the risks of structural damage to the vehicle. Now, the infrastructure at SpaceX's Starbase has also seen significant upgrades to support this mission. Enhancements to the launch and catch tower were made to facilitate the planned booster catch. This infrastructure is designed to withstand the immense forces and complexities involved in catching the massive super heavy booster. Now, regulatory approval remains the largest hurdle for this launch. The FAA had previously estimated that the flight test wouldn't be cleared before late November 2024. SpaceX has publicly contested this timeline, arguing that it meets all necessary environmental and operational criteria for an earlier launch. And in response to the FAA's position, SpaceX published a detailed statement on its website titled Starships Are Meant to Fly, arguing that the agency's delay is based on unnecessary environmental concerns. Now, the company also clarified that it has operated within the bounds of its permits and that the Environmental Protection Agency agreed with its compliance on operational requirements. Now, SpaceX's ambitions for Starship extend beyond Earth orbit, of course, as the vehicle is also central to NASA's Artemis III mission, which aims to return astronauts to the lunar surface by 2026. And to meet NASA's strict standards, Starship must undergo numerous test flights, including uncrewed missions to the surface of the moon. Now, the last Starship flight in June was considered a success as it accomplished its launch objectives, including the soft landing of both the Starship and its super heavy booster at sea. And the upcoming test is expected to build upon this by attempting more complex maneuvers and demonstrating advanced capabilities. Now, in preparation for the October 13th target, SpaceX has been conducting various checks and procedures at the launch site, includes stacking the Starship on its super heavy booster, performing propellant load tests, and verifying system functionality to ensure that the vehicle is ready for their goals. Now, SpaceX's approach to catching the super heavy booster involves a highly automated sequence of checks. Thousands of distinct criteria must be met for the tower catch attempt, including real-time evaluations of the booster's condition, the tower systems, and manual authorization from the mission's flight director. 
And if conditions do not allow for a safe catch of the Super Heavy booster, SpaceX has planned a contingency. The booster will attempt a controlled splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico after executing a landing burn. Now, this fallback plan ensures that no compromises are made regarding safety. Now, the second stage of the Starship has also undergone significant upgrades to mitigate the issues it faced in previous flights. Enhancements to the heat shield include improved tiles, extra layer of heat-resistant material, and additional protections around the flap structures, which had previously been a weak point during re-entry. Elon Musk has previously indicated that these upgrades were crucial for preventing fires in vulnerable areas of the Starship. By reinforcing these heat shields and improving the design around the flaps, SpaceX aims to achieve a stable and secure re-entry for the second stage of the Starship. Now, the success of IFT-5 could accelerate SpaceX's timeline for testing Starship's capabilities and capacity to support missions to Mars. And while human missions to the Red Planet are still years away, each test flight provides valuable data to refine the spacecraft's design and operational strategy, bringing SpaceX closer to its long-term objectives of getting people to the surface of Mars. Now, when do you think Starship's going to launch? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button. Will SpaceX launch Starship to Mars in the next few years? And how soon could the first human missions follow? Now, also, what challenges might delay these missions even further? SpaceX plans to send five uncrewed Starship missions to Mars by 2026, just two years from now, according to Elon Musk. And the goal of these missions is to test the reliability of landing on the Martian surface, laying the groundwork for future human exploration. Now, Musk confirmed that SpaceX has to wait for the next Earth-Mars window, but that occurs when the planets align in a way that minimizes the energy and the time required for travel. Now, the next optimal window for these missions is in 2026, with another window following in late 2028 into early 2029. And if all goes well with the uncrewed missions, Musk has indicated that the first crewed Starship flights to Mars could occur during the 2028-2029 launch window. However, if the test faces complications or fails to meet these objectives, SpaceX will likely attempt another round of uncrewed missions before committing to sending humans. Now, the alignment of Earth and Mars plays a crucial role in these plans. These planets periodically align in a way that creates optimal conditions for interplanetary missions, reducing the energy required for travel. And in this decade, the most favorable windows occur in late 2024, late 2026, and late 2028 into early 2029. And missing these windows could significantly delay SpaceX's Mars objectives by years, potentially aligning more closely with NASA's timeline for sending astronauts to Mars in the 2030s. Now, SpaceX's development of Starship, which is the spacecraft designed to carry these missions to Mars, is still in progress. It's a beta form right now. And although it's the most powerful rocket ever built, with a height of about 400 feet and generating 16.7 million pounds of thrust, the company has yet to successfully land it on solid ground. In its latest mission, SpaceX managed to land Starship in the Indian Ocean, marking an important step, but still falling short of its goal to make the spacecraft completely and fully reusable. Now, Musk has expressed frustration with the regulatory landscape that he believes has slowed down the progress on the Starship program. He pointed to increasing governmental bureaucracy and regulatory hurdles as key obstacles from the FAA. And according to Musk, the red tape surrounding SpaceX activities has significantly hindered their ability to move faster towards its Mars launch date. Now, SpaceX has also faced delays in other major projects, such as NASA's Artemis 3 mission, which aims to return humans to the moon. Originally scheduled for 2025, this mission has been postponed to 2026, in part due to the developmental delays of the Starship rocket, which is critical to the success of this whole mission. And these delays raise questions about the feasibility of Musk's timeline for Mars, especially when other high-priority projects are also experiencing setbacks. Now, the ultimate objective of Musk's Mars project is to establish a self-sustaining city 
on the Red Planet within the next 20 years. He envisions a scenario where humanity could exist on multiple planets, thereby increasing its chances of survival. And Musk argues that becoming a multi-planetary species would greatly extend the potential lifespan of human consciousness by diversifying the locations where life can flourish. Now, SpaceX's Starship, which is designed to be fully reusable, consists of two stages, the Super Heavy Booster and the Starship spacecraft. The Super Heavy Booster is designed to return to the launch site at Boca Chica Starbase, Texas, or the Cape for quick inspection, refurbishment, and reuse, similar to the company's Falcon 9 boosters. Now, this rapid turnaround capability is a key element in SpaceX's plan to increase the flight rate of starships, ultimately aiming to send hundreds of missions to Mars over the next two decades. Now, the Starship is also capable of carrying up to 150 metric tons of cargo. This capacity will be essential for transporting the materials and the equipment needed to build a self-sustaining settlement on Mars. Now, if successful, it would make large-scale interplanetary missions more feasible and cost-effective than ever before. And Elon Musk has frequently revised SpaceX's timeline for Mars mission, initially setting targets that now appear increasingly difficult to meet. About four years ago, he confidently stated that SpaceX would be sending ships to Mars by 2024. However, as technical and regulatory challenges persist, those projections have shifted, pushing the goalposts closer to the end of the decade and possibly beyond. Now, he believes that each launch window will see more spacecraft heading towards Mars, driven by lessons learned from previous missions and advances in technology. Now, this is called an iterative approach, and it's central to SpaceX's strategy, where rapid development and testing at Boca Chica Starbase, Texas, aims to overcome challenges more quickly than being built in a giant warehouse. Now, the competition with NASA's timeline adds a layer of complexity to SpaceX's plans. NASA has long targeted the 2030s for its first crewed mission to Mars, lining with its Artemis program's broader goals for lunar exploration first. And if SpaceX continues to encounter setbacks, its schedule for Mars missions might end up closely resembling NASA's, despite Musk's earlier ambitions to lead the race to the red planet and beat everybody else, including NASA, to the surface. Now, while technical capabilities are advancing, SpaceX still faces considerable challenges in achieving the reliability needed for crewed Mars missions. Now, landing spacecraft on the Martian surface intact is a significant hurdle that is yet to be consistently overcome, even by NASA. Now, SpaceX's ability to refine their techniques in the coming uncrewed missions will be critical to the success of future crewed journeys. And Musk's vision of a self-sustaining city on Mars touches on well, philosophical and existential themes, including the long-term survival of humanity. Musk believes that expanding human presence to other planets is not just a scientific endeavor, but a necessary step for the continuation of human consciousness in the face of existential risks on Earth. So let me know what you think about this timeline. Can Elon and the crew at SpaceX pull it off? Will we have humans on Mars in just a few years? Now, this timeline suggests that Musk's original goals may have been overly ambitious, given that SpaceX had initially aimed to send first human missions as early as 2024. But leave me a comment down below. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button and like this video to engage the algorithm. Thanks for watching. Please share this with all your friends. 